We're all set to go here. And he's called play. We are live. We are good to go. Kia ora team, Tala for lava, and a huge welcome to you all. Thank you all for tuning in wherever you're watching or listening to this from around, uh, not just Aotearoa, but from around the world as well. Um, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to listen to this uh, and join me. My name is Tivoli Guthrie. Uh, and this is the very first episode of Play Through, the Seventh Touch podcast, a podcast that is dedicated specifically to touch football, and a podcast that is, uh, I'd say, probably five years a little bit too late. Um, just to give you a bit of a bit of a backstory, um, bit of context. So five years ago, before Seventh Touch became Seventh Touch, um, I had an idea of starting what would have been at that time the very first podcast that was dedicated specifically to touch footy um, and got beat into the punch and then sort of pivoted into the sort of social media space um, which is how seven touch was born and you know it's uh, sort of been five years now and, and some 40,000 followers later I'm, I suppose falling into it is, is a bit of a bit of an understatement but um, yeah really really I suppose glad that, that that's the way that it sort of played out and, and now that I'm five years into this journey it's, uh, it's, it's, it's time to take on another challenge. So um, I suppose a little bit about me, I'm based out of, uh, sorry, based out of New Zealand, I grew up in Auckland um, and I've been involved in touch for about 20 years now. Um, started playing sort of just socially um, with my siblings, I've got a couple of sisters and a brother as well um, and then eventually just sort of progressed on the sport, um, played for Auckland and then was fortunate enough, fortunate enough to represent uh, New Zealand in the under-19 boys, under-21 boys uh, and then in the open men's as well. Um, and then sort of dipped out of the game for a little bit and then started 7 Touch five years ago. Um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of um, been since 2019 and after five years I feel like... Um, the the page or seventh touch as an entity or, or however you want to however you want to to phrase it is ready for a new challenge and so um yeah i've decided to hop into this podcasting space um now obviously if you are listening to this then then you're a touchy you follow seven touch on social media hopefully um or at the very least you're passionate about touch football um and if you are passionate about touch football then hopefully you would have heard of uh, the Touch Project podcast, which is run by my good friend Pat Spellman, um, or you would have heard about Late Switch, which is run by Touch Football Australia, um, and then I suppose you, you come to this, which is Play Through. Um, now, what is Play Through, which may be a, a question on, on a lot of your minds. Play Through is, is basically just an extension of Seventh Touch. Um, so Seventh Touch, is, as you all know, is, is basically a... Um, an online platform where we can all share in our uh, our love and passion of touch and then play through is um, basically just an alternative means for you to, to all get your touch football content fix um, you know because some of you might follow seven touch on on instagram some of you might follow on facebook some of you might follow on you know threads tiktok youtube whatever it may be um, and you know that that might not be for everyone um, and so this is just another way of um, getting our sport out there, I suppose, which is, um, you know, something that isn't really done, especially from an independent point of view. Now, obviously, you've, you've got your, your regional sporting organizations or your national sporting organizations that'll, that'll do that from a national standpoint, um, but nothing that's really done from an independent standpoint, um, although that is slowly changing, which is, is really, really cool to see. Um, but yeah, I suppose the ultimate aim of play through it sort of shares the same aim of Seven Touch itself, which is to help grow and promote touch football. Um, and if I can, you know, somehow contribute to the growth and, and the development of the sport, um, especially through this new means, through through this podcast, if I can, for example, help um, even just one person or, or one club or one. Um, national governing body gain a couple of extra players or, or extra coaches referees people wanting to put their hands up or even just build general excitement around touch football 
um, then I would say that is job done. Happy, <laughs> happy days. Um, so what to expect from playthrough? Um, it's, if I'm being completely 100% honest, I don't have a concrete game plan. Um, but it is just a matter of jumping in and sort of testing the waters, seeing what everyone likes. Um, because I've come in with an open book, um, pretty flexible. So if um, if the way that I do things on this podcast over the next couple of weeks sort of strikes a chord and you guys seem to like it, then um, that sort of format will stay. Um, if you guys want to see something a little bit different, I'm open to that as well. As I mentioned, I'm, I'm, I'm flexible and I am sort of playing this whole, this whole thing by ear and just seeing where we go, uh, which is... Um, to be honest, it's probably the better way of doing things because, you know, you, if you get stuck in, in doing things a certain way, it, it can sort of just be hit and miss. So um, we'll see we'll see how how the, the touch community likes their content and then we'll, we'll sort of go from there. Um, but the general idea of, of what I had in mind for the first couple of weeks anyway is, is to do sort of a general um, preview and review of, of some of the major touch tournaments that are going on around the world. Now obviously if, um, if you aren't aware we've got the biggest touch event on the touch calendar internationally um, coming in, what are we now? in almost exactly one month. Um, so we've got the Touch World Cup, which is taking place in Nottingham in England, um, sort of mid-July from the 15th to the 21st. And over the next couple of weeks, excuse me, the next couple of weeks, I'll be um, sort of giving, I suppose, my general um, breakdown or analysis of, of some of the some of the grades that'll be contested at the World Cup. Um, and then... Yeah, so I suppose if, if you guys like that type of content, then that's sort of the stuff that will that will stay. Um, but also I'm open to um, sort of taking the same sort of route as Touch Project Podcast or The Late Switch where they get guests on and and we'll have a bit of a yarn and, and see how that goes as well, if that is something that is um, interesting to, to the Touch Football community. Um, whatever whatever the appetite is, I'm, I'm sort of more than happy to sort of fill that, fill that void. Um, so that's what to expect from playthrough specifically. Um, I suppose we are halfway through the year, so what to expect from Seventh Touch towards the back end of the year? Um, well, obviously, apart from this podcast, I like the the podcast to stick around. That'll be cool. Um, but we've got some exciting partnerships in store as well, uh, with some uh, I suppose expected delivery of some some goodies for the Touch community. Um, one of those partnerships is super duper close to being announced. Hopefully, that'll be done. Uh, within the week or, or next week um, and then we've got another one lined up sort of in a couple of months time which I'm really really excited about. Um, currently though um, if you jump on the 7 Touch website obviously we've got a, uh, a range of merch you can see behind me we've got our goat range that's still available to pre-order online um, and we've also got a six-week training program uh, which helps you to get fit specifically for Touch. It's a, it's a really cool really robust program and it gets you touch fit. So obviously if you're training for touch and, and don't really know, don't really have any direction, this will give you that direction to, to jump in. It's a six-week six program that you can do either um, based out of your home or based at a gym, and it'll, it'll get you sort of fit and firing um, either back into play or to peak for a tournament. So um, if you haven't already, jump onto that, jump online, 7 you'll be able to, to see all of that good stuff. Um, and then as well as all of that, just the, just the usual content, um, the, the content that we've been pumping out for the last five years. Um, over the next couple of weeks, obviously, it will be very, very World Cup heavy. Um, and yeah, some of those, some of the content that we've got coming up, I'm, I'm pretty excited about as well. So hopefully you guys are, are as well. Um, but yeah, this was sort of just a quick, quick episode just to uh, sort of get the get the ball rolling just to let you know that um that the podcast is sort of up and running um but yeah so I'm obviously very new to this I'm I'm hoping to to get better and and sort of learn the craft of of podcasting and and um keeping you all engaged and being able to develop that skill as well so if you've got any any feedback feel free to pass it on through my uh, my DMs are always open um but yeah apart from that 
had to had to put a reminder down here actually to to get you all to like, follow, share, uh, leave a comment, leave a review, do all of that good stuff. That'll help. Um, hopefully, anyway, it'll help sort of grow the podcast and and grow what we are able to provide for you all. So uh, that's all from me for now. Um, I'll be launching a few more episodes in the weeks to come leading up to Touch World Cup. Um, So I will see you all then. Catch you later. Check.